I love these levels so much. So, yeah. yeah that's all there is to this one, is Crash as a hog. And uh, we go hog wild. And, uh, yeah, I don't have control of the speed. And all I can do is dump. And it is, uh, it is pretty satisfying. Uh, I, I do love later iterations of it because you can speed up and slow down. Particularly the polar bear. The polar bear is great. Uh, the, and, and, and Pura the tiger is also pretty good too. Uh. There we go. Up and over. Yeah, so, yeah. Once you know the pattern, and I have a lot of these down here. Uh, this is very straightforward. I sometimes will miss those boxes, uh, and that that's the only infuriating part is, is that they have a they, they have a somewhat they, they don't really have a forgiving like clip to them effectively. Up, oh, I uh, I missed time that one. Oh, yeah, I'm surprised by that. Okay, well we'll do it again. We'll, we'll do it live, doing it live. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so w once you know the pattern to all these... Okay, I almost like jumped over the gem there. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, th th this game, honestly, now that you don't have to go through the arduous task of trying to, uh... Trying to get through every level without dying, uh, some of the challenge is kind of taken away from it, or at least, uh, it's very quick, because we're already at the end of Island 1 here already. Uh, and we cannot get, uh, all the, uh, boxes on this level either. Uh, we're kind of stuck because we need the red gem, uh, which we will get later on. Uh, that is the other thing. This one is unique, and th this craft game is unique in that uh, in other ones you just have one level where you need the gems, and then the 25th level is where you need all the gems. Versus this one, just certain gems are more useful than others, and there's also six of them. Uh, which is not a thing that the other ones have, so... Uh, what happened to the orange gem? I don't know. Ask Thanos, I guess. Cause, yeah. That said, this one can be a little bit, uh... Not, not hard, just a little infuriating, because... You have these, th you have these long, upwards, vertical sections. And, uh, you can fall. Uh, you don't fall all the way down there, as I just described, but I I in those certain areas, you can fall. And, uh, yeah. It, it just warrants a, a little a little modicum of caution. And then the fire, uh, and then the fire, you just gotta time the fire correctly and jump across. That, that, the other thing to that uh, I don't have access to, and because the last one I played is Crash 4, I'm wanting to slide jump, and that's not a thing that exists in Crash 1. Uh, sadly not. Although, it, it would... Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Fried Bandicoot. <laughs> Fried Bandicoot, indeed. <laughs> I'm gonna pause this real quick. Just my mic here quick. Okay, that's... Yep. Okay, that's much better. Okay, I think that 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 I think it's a better mic position. Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, just uh, technical difficulties here. I have an arm for a microphone that just sits in front of my face, and uh, sometimes the arm likes to move, and it's annoying. And yeah, <laughs> just, just a just a production issue here. <laughs> Up oh, and got me. They got me, coach. <laughs> but this kind of also is like your first, like it, it, it's basically the first like gauntlet level. Like it, it, it is a it is a long level in terms of uh, in terms of everything that came before it, which is like a two to three minute like level. This one is more of a uh, four to five minute level. I know it seems like I'm doing the same thing there, but you can actually jump over that explosion. I just mistimed it the first time. Uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and do this. In also the original, the only way you could save is by doing a Twana bonus level. Otherwise, you were kind of stuck. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. In, in early games, like the memory card existed, but uh, it was not used with a lot of frequency. I know. So see, I seem to remember a lot of password management from back in the day, of uh, crazy passwords. And this game was no exception. Uh, so. <laughs> So, we got one more vertical section, uh, maybe two more, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I can't remember 100%. I can skip through about half the level going back here, and that's what I'm going to do. Because we're, uh, we're not looking to get the boxes here, so, at the moment, because we can't, so. Up. Oh, well, there you go, I slipped off. <laughs> I guess it's not much of a shortcut if you die from it. I don't know. Right. Yeah, so we'll, we'll hang out back here. Not not because anything that they're throwing at me there is too difficult, but also, if they're giving me the option to skip it, why not? Well, the, uh, the answer is I'm being punished karmically for my actions. Whee! Okay. Let's try one more time here. So, truth be told, I never played Mario 64 as a kid. Because uh, we had the PlayStation in the house, and then right around the time Donkey Kong 64 came out is when I got the N64. Because I got one of those, uh, one of the uh, green ones uh, that came out when Donkey Kong 64 came out. Uh, and I, I probably played more Donkey Kong 64 than, or Donkey Kong Country than Mario uh, as a kid. Oh, please. <laughs> It's not that my timing's off. I just want to rush past it because, yeah, there's not a whole lot to this at the moment. But uh, cer certainly, I was a more I certainly played more Crash and uh, and Spyro and Gex uh, than uh, than I did of uh, the 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 64 era platformers. That th this was my uh, this is my jam back in the day. Yeah, I gotta. I think I probably have to go up on that ledge there. I, I thought I could run past it, but I guess not. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So the one I mentioned that nobody knows. Uh. Gex was. Uh. Ge Gex is impossible to describe. It was... I, I mean, Gex was uh, PlayStation's version of Conquer in that it was just reference humor. It was Dana Gould, uh, comedian, uh, voicing a talking lizard that is not the Geico mascot, but may as well have been inspired by it. Although I don't know if uh, Gex predates the Geico mascot. Uh, and uh, ba basically, it would just be him... Uh, him, him doing quips with, uh, well, qu quips is a generous word. Qu quips is, uh, is, is a polite way of saying, like, he basically just, like, took all kinds of different lines from the, from any kind of pop culture thing and just basically would, like, do it as a catchphrase. Like, he'd be hit and then he'd be like, you never knock me down! And it's just, like, he, he was, he was referencing a whole bunch of movies that, as a kid... Uh, there's no way I would have seen, and uh, I, I can spin away lives. Uh, most unfortunate, but is what is. Yeah, we're at the end here. Yeah, I want that life. Oh, what a price to pay. Oh, what a price to pay. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, Ge Gex was made by the by the uh, Tomb Raider people, who now are owned by Square Enix. So naturally, I assume they'll do they'll if they ever remake a Gex game, they'll treat it with love and care, like every one of Square Enix's other properties. I I'm positive with that, with all of my heart, that that's what they'll do. <laughs> all right, we're at the end of Island One here. Uh, I, I, if, if if you're missing on the subtext, I I've I've lost faith in Square Enix a little bit. I, I will will I play Final Fantasy 16? The answer is probably I will. Probably. 
Will I enjoy it? Uh, not enjoyed one since 10. So, odds are probably not super in the favor of it. I know they somehow managed to make the most bland version of uh, anything involving the Avengers. Because, uh, yeah, the, if you're going to make a game, like, I, under, I understand that, you know, the rights to Robert Downey Jr.'s likeness are probably pretty expensive. But also, if you're making a game called The Avengers and you have a character who's Iron Man and looks nothing like Robert Downey Jr., like, you, you know, like, I, I'm not saying he had to, but, you know, like, this, they all look off. And I'm not saying that 100% making them look like their, their movie counterparts would have helped, but also that's just how I identify the characters. And it's just, it, it's very weird to, to, to see that in a, in a game that I'm sure costs a lot of money to make and a lot of money to like, you know, market. Uh, yeah, I can't, I wasn't supposed to be there yet. I gotta hit the uh, exclamation point and then I can go back there. <laughs> Yeah, there, there's, I gotta basically I gotta hit this thing up here, and then I can go backwards here. Uh, I was trying to read it if I could, but the answer is I couldn't, because uh, I need to hit the uh, yeah. The, the, there's a thing that right there, obviously, that gets me what I'm looking to do. Yeah. Up. Oh, most unfortunate, but I can still get back up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I never was big in on the Tomb Raider series, but it sounds like that one's kind of... They, they basically turned Tomb Raider into Uncharted, which I find... I find funny for a bunch of reasons, but... Uh, it doesn't sound like... It doesn't sound like it's been received as very good, at least the last two or so. I, I, I don't know. I, I... I guess because, like, Laura's, like, the first, like, girl video game character, like, I kind of want her to... The, the, the first playable one. I, I kind of want that franchise to succeed, but like I, I just remember my dad getting murdered by a bear and uh, drowning, and uh, not not because he encountered another water bear. Ju just I remember him playing the the original Tomb Raider, and uh, he was very bad at it. <laughs> my my dad was very bad at a lot of games, particularly Doom. Now, why as a six year old I was allowed to watch him play Doom? Uh, and that was fine, but I wasn't allowed to play it myself. I can't expect to explain why the why there is that stark divide there. Uh, not not that I would have played Doom, but I mean, cer certainly there was some sort of weird divide that's just like, okay, well you you can watch your dad play Grand Theft Auto, but you can't actually play it yourself. I I, I guess that was satisfactory enough. <laughs> I, I I don't know what to make of that. Uh, my favorite boss, not not because he's particularly difficult, just because I love uh, I, I just love the concept of Ripper Roo. I, I love the uh, the crazy. Uh, I, I I don't I think he's a kangaroo. I don't know for certain. Uh, I don't specifically know what a Ripper is, but it, it it's just a fun concept. So basically, you time where he's gonna land with the explosion there, effectively, and that's how this boss fight works. Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to hit. And that one's not going to hit either. <laughs> and that one's going to be too late. I, I just have to get the pattern down here. And the answer is, yeah. So, when this one comes down here, that should be enough. <laughs> yeah, okay. There we go. But maybe not. Yeah, I'm missing like crazy here. Something should hit him. Yeah, so I mean, his pattern is pretty straightforward. Although, watch as I almost die from the very straightforward pattern here. <laughs> I just don't have the timing down. I'm surprised by that.
Okay, that should get him. There we go. Okay, easy, easy enough. He's he's not hard. I don't know what's why. Just just I enjoy the the concept of uh, using the TNT crates to to hit him uh, with his haptic movement. Uh, the the he. He reappears in Crash 2 as the first boss, and he's very fun there, too. Uh, because that one has Nitro. Okay, so this is our first challenge level of the game. So this is the Lost City, and as you can see, it's got a color gem, which means we cannot die. If we die, we, uh, we, we have to get every box, and we cannot die. So, it's a, it's a little tricky, but it's, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> yeah, so... You basically there. You just have to kind of. You got to go to the screen to the, to the front of the screen enough, and then kind of cycle back here. <laughs> yeah, I, I've done this one enough that hopefully it shouldn't take me too many lives to get through here. Uh, the the most annoying part here is the uh, is the bats. So you have to take out both of the uh, both of the bats, and then the swarm of bats will no longer come. So we're gonna take care of that real quick. Up. Oh. If I didn't get caught on the ledge, that would have been perfect. There we go. So yeah, now they won't come after us here. So yeah, this this is all just about taking your time and being patient, which are as a gamer, I'm gonna say is not my strongest suit. There's a exclamation mark up here, so if you're going for uh, going to try to get the uh, thing here, you you want to make sure you get the uh, yeah, because otherwise otherwise you can't get that that Brio token, and you're gonna need that to get all the boxes here. So this is just a level that requires a bit of patience, because yeah, you, you you will get hit by the uh, by the things if you do otherwise here. And then also you gotta yes, I gotta time the uh, the yes, I gotta time the approach of uh, the uh, the uh, wall to push in and out too. It, it it's it's like, like I said, I I've played this level so many times uh, from back in the PS1 day, so like I should I should have a lot of this down to muscle memory. I don't need that life, I just need the embryo token. There we go. And then just we're gonna go up straight up vertically here. Yeah. And th this is also very straightforward for the most part. Although falling down and randomly hitting fire is not great. So I hope I can keep that Aku Aku mask. At least for a little bit here. That's gonna trigger some boxes up here at the top here. So that there, there's the embryo challenge there. This guy is just gonna follow us around. I'm not particularly worried about him at the moment. We're gonna get that other embryo token right here, and let's go to the the level here. Now, I, if I want to remember correctly, getting the embryo token does not preclude you from. Uh, if if you fail, it doesn't preclude you. Oh, I'm just hanging out here. Okay, there we go. If, if you die on the embryo level that doesn't count as a death uh, counter towards the level. So you can still get the boss gem. Or you can still get the gem. Which is good, because this is... Th 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 it's a little tricky. So some of these are a little bit trickier than uh, I would prefer. <laughs> okay. Uh, th th these get significantly harder as we go along here. That one was, for the most part, pretty straightforward, but it's very easy to... Uh, to spin and hit the uh, the TNT. Okay, so this thing here, uh, yeah, we just kind of want to keep uh, keep lighting our feet. We're gonna move back because he's gonna bounce. Okay, up, up, and okay. Yeah. Uh, we can spin these a little bit here. Uh, I didn't want to have to do that, but I went ahead too further here, so we're okay though. Uh, Eventually, for all these, there's one that that where they all are sticking out. That's when we want to make our move. Although these ones don't have that, they're just yeah. so he's gonna bounce that way. So we have to time it, because otherwise uh, we don't miss, can miss that box pretty easily. There, right, hit him. Now we're gonna step back. 
Oh, that sucks. We were right at the end, too. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go back out here then. And uh, we're gonna try this one again. 